you know, pancreatic cancer, I think World Pancreatic Cancer Day is one of the most important steps we did in pancreatic cancer. Because pancreatic cancer is not so common. But still, if you look statistics, pancreatic cancer that comes from Sweden is the fourth cause of cancer-related death in Sweden and actually in all West country. So maybe it's true, there are many other cancers more frequent than pancreas cancer, but very few that are so dangerous like pancreatic cancer. So very important aspect. And what is also a terrible aspect is the pancreatic cancer mortality will increase over the time, according with the expectation, will become the second cause of, of cancer-related death in 2030 after lung cancer. So it's really a medical emergency. We need really to fight together in order to change this trend, which is clearly explained by these slides. One of the problems, one of the biggest enemy we have in pancreatic cancer research and treatment are the cliché that come from the past. One cliché is that the progression of pancreas cancer is faster than other tumors. So we have a few months, a few days to do something. And then prevention and early diagnosis are not possible. That means that basically we have no chance to cure. And that means that we have no investment on pancreatic cancer. It's not interesting for who need to make business with medicine as well, because of course, I mean, that's also an important issue that is in our world. But I will try to show you that both the cliché we have are wrong. So this is a, I don't want to go in detail of that, this is, doesn't matter, but this part is very important. From when the cells start to be transformed in not normal cells, to the moment in which the cells are cancer and start to spread, giving metastasis, we have a time of 10 years. We have a lot of time to do something. The problem is what? The problem is how can we detect this process, which is uh, in some way known, some way not, we can improve, but we know that we have time. So prevention and early diagnosis is definitely possible. It's definitely one way we should invest on. You see here two typical examples of improvement in results in cancer treatment. Colonic cancer, breast cancer. Why we can't do the same with pancreas. We need to do the same they did with this kind of tumor. And that means better treatments, but mostly prevention early diagnosis. Today, who has familial history of colonic cancer need to do colonoscopy. Women need to do mammography for breast cancer. The mortality is reducing. What we are doing for pancreatic cancer? We did something in the past. When I started my career, basically patient with pancreas cancer were possible to operate or not, and that's it. Today, we know, this is an European study done in 2004, that giving chemotherapy after surgery, we improved the survival. So it's not true with exactly in the last 40 years we did nothing, we did something. But of course, if you see this is a survival card, represent the people that are alive after, in this case, uh, five years. And you see that with chemotherapy are more than without, but still, the level is very low, around 10%. Today we know that other treatment, like for example combination of more drugs, has better results. You see by yourself these curves are higher than the previous one I show you. So we have better treatment, but it's not enough. We need to think about new ideas. This is just an example, what for example we are doing, we are starting to do at Karolinska, but there are several other ideas. This is immunotherapy, these slides come from a melanoma, where immunotherapy is working very well. You see here a patient, this black dot you see here are metastasis in the liver. So a patient that until a few years ago was basically a patient with a few weeks or months of survival after immunotherapy, completely regression of the disease in the liver. We are trying to invest in that, even in pancreatic cancer. That doesn't mean that we have the cure, that doesn't mean that it will work even in pancreas cancer, but definitely it's a very fascin fascinating uh, strategy, as well many other that are ongoing, different in several centers all around the world. The principle of immunotherapy is quite easy, basically when the tumor is removed, you go to catch this, the immunological cells inside of the tumor, basically the same cells that protect yourself by the flu, that also go against the tumor cells, you amplify these cells in lab, and then you give to the patient back a big volume of these cells with the hope that these cells will be able to destroy it themselves, the tumor. But what is very important is also that probably we can do prevention and early diagnosis. And there are two kind of group of patients that potentially are suitable for this kind of prevention. Patient that has in some way hereditary for pancreatic cancer, 
there are several, we will see in a while, but mostly patients that have pancreatic cystic tumors. We know now that this entity is present in 20% of population. So in this room, 20% of us has a cystic lesion in the pancreas. Very few progress to cancer, but someone progress to cancer. Is it detectable with a normal CT scan or MR? And actually the follow-up of those patients can be important to prevent or to early treat pancreatic cancer. This is hereditary pancreatic cancer. There are several, I don't go through the scale, the, the, this list, there are several conditions that increase the risk of pancreatic cancer, mostly to have other relatives in the family with pancreatic cancer. And those patients has an higher incidence of cancer or cystic lesion of the pancreas, which are precursor lesion of pancreatic cancer. So if we, if we screen those patients, in about 40% of the cases, we found some finding in the pancreas. So very important that US risk will be in some way checked in the pancreatic center. This is, for example, the type of follow-up we are doing at Karolinska. There are basically very similar even in other places. So basically is done by uh, magnetic resonance. So very no invasive and easy uh, examination that can be done once per year. Pancreatic cystic lesions are even more interesting because as I told you, are involving large part of population. Some one of those can progress to cancer, some one not. And the surveillance of those patients is relevant for the prevention of pancreatic cancer. Here you see a small cyst in the pancreas. This is the pancreas. This is a small cyst, five millimeter, stable from 2008 to 2013. So the temptation will be okay. Forget it. 2015 developed a very big lesion with cancer in the head. So very important to don't stop to follow patient with finding in the pancreas. And here you see this is a very recent article we published. This is the risk. This curve represents the risk that patient has to progress cystic lesion when the cystic lesion is detected and the risk they have during the time to receive surgery. So you see both the progression and the surgery increase. That means that the, to maintain and not discontinue surveillance is relevant in order to prevent and to early diagnose pancreatic cancer. This is just, I mean, to show that again, the surveillance is basically quite easy. Again, is made by magnetic resonance or endoscopic ultrasound. So basically not radiation uh, imaging modalities and quite easy accessible modalities. I finish my talk saying that uh, knowledge and treatment of pancreatic cancer are improving over the time, but I agree. Basically, in the last 40 years, we did not as much as was done for other kinds of cancer. I think prevention and early diagnosis are the most promising short-term action that we can take all together. But new treatment, of course, are needed for the patient in which we can't do early diagnosis and treatment. And here, I think there are several aspects very important. From our side, we need to start to be more collaborative not compete between big institutions, but work together. That's for example, what we did, this is a study I created in 2011, joined all the biggest European center researching on this preneoplastic lesion. Now even several American center are joining us. So there is a very big task force, which make easier to get funding, but also to, to reach a critical number of patients to investigate, which is very important. But I think mostly also should be done together with you, with patient, and with the institution. You know, for many, for the flu, it's very easy to get money to do research because there is a big business. Billions of people get flu. So it's a big business. For pancreas cancer, it's not easy to get money from private sector. So I think that public institution, association, foundation, together with us should play a big role. And I'm sure at the end of that, we will win the fight against pancreatic cancer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marco. How come you started in this area in the first place? Well, this is a this is a very I, I think is a very uh, you mean in research or in collaboration? In, in, no, I mean in pancreas because it is in, in itself. Yeah. there are different uh, types of cancers yeah, that attract different kind of researches, and this yeah. is such an important area. I agree with you. I mean, uh, one of the most important things is that some one of those uh, lesions are related to each other. For example, when we speak about cystic lesion, part the majority of, tho of those, for example, IPMN, are basically precursor lesion of pancreatic cancer. So the research 
is not competition, but basically is the same kind of research at a different level of disease, more or less we can say. But of course there are even other neoplastic diseases and I think that the best things to do is to proceed together with this kind of groups and of course someone will lead more one group than another, other, other groups, but of course I mean I think it's important to invest in all uh, the area of pancreatology and pancreatic neoplasma in this case. But it's true, you are very correct. I mean, there are not only pancreatic cancer, there are other kind of pancreatic tumors as well. And if we look from the patient's perspective or, or preventive perspective, how much should you be proactive, would you say, to the medical profession yeah. and demand help? Yeah, there are a lot of problems regarding that, I mean, which are going over even the information level. Let's say that, I mean, uh, uh, the efficacy of a screening program is not proven. What I mean is that, I mean, is not cost effectiveness proven, which means this is an economical and social cost problem sometimes. So that's, I think, where we need to act together mm -hmm. with the patient because uh, everything is nice. I mean, of course, economy is an important issue and cost effectiveness is an important issue, but human life, in my opinion, are even more important. <laughs> uh, so that's, I mean, is something we need to state clearly. Uh, so I think that Information, otherwise, excluding this aspect, is very important. And from this perspective, I think uh, patient association probably are the one that can reach better the public because they can tell about themselves together with us. So what we can provide is support in giving the correct information. But I think the spreading of information should be done in this way. Media mm. should help. We, are, we have here an example. Mm. <laughs> you are an example. Mm. So, I mean, I think media should help. Uh, and we should try to, to give a message of hope that if we act in particular early and with the right instrument, we can really improve today uh, the survival. If tomorrow we do an operation in a patient with a preneoplastic lesion, it's cured. Of course, the, pr the price to pay is a big operation. So we need to operate when needed because if not, we risk to overtreat. But on the other hand, if we do, then the patient is cured. It's not only that he has an hope is completely cured. So this is very important and a few years ago we had not this chance. So you do see progress? Absolutely, I think so. I think we can do much quicker, but still we are doing. <laughs> so it is to mobilize and to collaborate, not compete, yes. is very important and to bring awareness up as we're doing right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Thank you so much for now, Marco. Thank, Thank you. you.